What? Well, they changed everything on me here. All right. All right, how's it going, everybody? We are currently live. Searching. Okay, so we are currently in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, searching for William Burr Sr. He was known by Billy, um, family and friends. He went missing March 23rd, 1991. He was last seen in Pass Christian, Mississippi, leaving a nightclub with some friends, dropped them off at home around 3.45 a.m., and was heading home to Bay St. Louis. That's a, most of the information that we have at this time. A lot of the case information was lost in Hurricane Katrina. Um, we put in on it in past Christian. Yes. Um, we've searched the bridge that goes over the bay. We've searched that you know earlier this morning, and now we are working our way down the Jordan River. Um, Go ahead. Um, so we're working our way down the Jordan River that runs along Bay St. Louis, as well as, you know, if we can get into some of the bayous, then we're going to do that as well. Um, we do have Britt from Deaths of History. How's He's with us on this whole 40-day trip. Yep. So thank you, um, you know, for everything you've done so far and, you know, of course, all the trouble that we'll get into. <laughs> um, so, one of the, you know, big shout out to Britt. If you haven't checked him out, please do so. Um, he's He's been an immense help, um, you know, diving. You dove originally on the car the other day that we pulled out. And then um, Jacob dove six times. Yeah, Jacob <laughs> dove six times. So um, we are, uh, we're going to continue our search here. But we just wanted to bring you guys along so you guys could see the sonar, you know, just learn more about it. Um, see kind of how we do and what we do and you know, all that good jazz. <clears throat> so what have you learned today, Britton? Well, I've learned that... A lot about the sonar, first off. I mean, we went through a sonar overview, and Jacob was able to explain a lot of things about what to look for, how to set the contrast, sensitivity, setting waypoints, and navigation, navigation and all that. So, but uh, yeah, what do you think, buddy? Um, I think that the ocean is a different bear. Um, it was pretty decent sized waves out there to navigate through but we're in this kind of cove in this kind of by Jordan's River and uh, we're just going to check all throughout this area there's roads that end up in the in the river here and you know he's been missing since 91 there's really no telling what um, what we'll be able to find with what Lindsay had said on the Hurricane Katrina lost all that information is kind of like kind of vague but yet he was at the casino with his friend or at the nightclub with his friends and he dropped them off where is he from there we don't know at least we'll cover this water make sure that there's no other vehicles in here make sure it's not his vehicle in here and um, so we got the sonar up pretty good right now we're sitting at 12 feet pretty clean on the sonar nothing nothing's really come up as of recently there's uh there's a lot of a lot of people who who want to say we need live video or uh regular videos this is you know, this is about as good as you get on the on the live feed because you know it's it's what we do every single day. And uh, let's see if I get in there. Well, this looks like there's a uh, looks like a boat ramp in there. Um, you know, this is raw. This is this is us. So I'm gonna try to see if I can sneak in here. Not sneak in here, but I'm trying to get in here without hitting anything. Sometimes it gets about a foot and a half to two foot deep back here, so depending on the tide levels, that's gonna be a three foot deep. I just see a boat right back there. So. There's a lot of debris piles in here. 
wonder if it's a bow ramp or if it's just a dock. Oh, okay. Well, then it's too much. You're saying, where's the new submarine at, Jacob? Submarine. I don't know. Where are you getting the submarine? I don't have no submarine. There was no talk about submarine. Are you talking about little buddy? You're talking about the uh, remote control boat? Probably. Uh, well. It's in the RV right now. Uh, you know, there are several things i want to talk about you know we're we're out here on our about what a quarter way through our trip now yeah, almost halfway almost halfway you know we covered a lot of waters we did a lot of things uh made a lot of new contacts with the law enforcement um we even had warrants taken out for searching for ryan taylor and stuff like that it's been it's been an amazing ride so far so um, it's because of you guys that help, and I just want to say thank you for all your support. Um, with, you know, with us continuing to search, this helps families out every single day. Um, there are several new different things in the, uh, On the website, we have these little water bottles that we just put out. I put out a link. Check those out, guys. That helps us put fuel in the vehicle, um, put fuel in the boat. It helps us help families. So do check that out. They are pretty cool water bottles. Um, also, maintenance on the RV. Uh, our ABS light came on. We're going to have uh, a company, I'll get the name and stuff like that. He's going to clear his schedule to uh, to fix the RV. We gotta put brakes on it. So it's because of your guys' support we're able to do that, so thank you. You see anything other than that brush pile down there? Okay. Um, this bay is pretty very pretty. There's well, that yeah. The river's pretty. It's still salt water, so it's still the bay. Um, that's crazy. Mississippi is a beautiful. Is it was it um, past Christiane? Sue Klein got a water bottle. Oh yeah. Well, thank you, Sue. Um, yeah, just everything. It just helps out. But our weather has been pretty decent. I know back at home we've got some strong winds, so hunker down, kids. Um, I got a question. This has been bothering me for a while now. Is that a rail or is that just a grass? We have went through yacht clubs. We have went through... Uh, just different marinas. Why are there absolutely million dollar home, million dollar boats that just sit there and just rot away? Like, how can you have that much money to let a boat just wither away to nothing like that? I don't get it. And I know it's been sitting there forever because there's big, huge spider webs and moss. That's just gorgeous boats. Why would you do that to a boat? <laughs> I don't know. It was just a question I had. If you can answer that for me, it'd be awesome. So when I'm talking, she's looking at sonar. When she's talking, I'm looking at the sonar. So there's nobody who's missing anything. But I just I just had to ask that question. It's just it's crazy. We are getting a solid return on these uh, sonars. What you see on the left is you see a, you actually see the bottom of a boat. Um, and that's actually the bottom of the boat that's floating right now. You kind of get a cast because it's like ricocheting off the sound waves. We've seen a whole ton of... Uh, you answered your own question, they have money. That's what someone said. I just don't get it, like... Million dollar boats, huge boats, and all I see is their, their uh, Helen, thank you. <laughs> their pumps just pumping, or the air conditioner still on. It's just sitting there. 
Why? Oh, yeah? Awesome. Uh, so, Lindsay can talk about the pets. You did. You, you go posted ahead. it. You go ahead. So, we got three hermit crabs because I guess that equals a corgi. <laughs> it doesn't equal a corgi. Um, so, we purchased them. When we get the opportunity, we'll get them, you know, the correct tank and everything. But right now, everything is as good as it can be for them. Thank you, Kate. In their conditions. Um, so, uh, Britain's is the rainbow-colored one. He named it Bart. <laughs> Jacob's is the big, giant one. Go figure. And his name is Wally. I like Wally. And then... Mine is Sheldon P. Hermit, and he is the one with the really big shell, but I'm pretty sure his butt's too big, so. You keep saying that. Yeah. So, those are our new Chaos, Chaos members. Um, so. Thank you, John. I just wanted to, I mean, I know you guys haven't heard from us. You guys have gotten a little bit of, uh reports a little bit of uh, information on what we're doing and how we're doing it just wanted to bring it out to you we're about halfway through our trip right now everything's going good nothing's really broke down the only thing i've really done is actually i i bottomed out the trailer and cut the lights off um the trailer lights so i got to rewire it that's pretty much all that's going on except for the the brakes need to be repaired um do the trailer lights tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to do the trailer lights tomorrow when the brakes get fixed. I'm saying have them do it. I have them do it? Yeah. Why can't I do it? I'd have them do it. I think there's a reason behind that. Do you really need to ask? <laughs> no. Do you want the answer on, <laughs> no. on live video uh, right no, now? No, no, I, I really don't. Um, okay, so, anyway. You know, there's, there's going to be people say... Hey, you know, there's the, the water salt content can deteriorate a car. We know this. Um, absolutely. And uh, we're just hoping that the material in this car is, is good. And, you know, we can see if he's in the water, maybe we can. Greenwell wants to know if they're going fishing. Maybe if we. Summer. Probably Greenwell. Um, but maybe we can see something any identification of a vehicle and stuff like that. Currently, we haven't found a vehicle here, which is a good thing. Um, we did get talked to last night by the past Christian law enforcement. They gave me their card. They said, if you need anything, um, contact them, which was amazing. They do have their own dive team, so if we find a vehicle, we'll dive on it, and then we'll probably step back and let them pull it. Um, they have an amazing dive team out there, so. People want to know where you are. Two three hundreds on that boat. Can I put a, can I put a one fifty on this? Well, I know where you are. Uh, so we are currently cruising through Jordan's River in past Christiane. I'm sorry. So this will be Bay St. Louis in Mississippi. Still Mississippi, right? Yeah. Uh, we're searching down through here. And we're going to go all the way to I-10. There's another lake on I-10 that we'll probably hit tomorrow um, if the brakes get fixed. You know, this case is a super old case where we're hoping to give answers. If we don't give answers, at least we know where he's not. That's a big old log. You see that? It's like 40 foot long. Your mom's saying I need to talk louder. She talks loud enough. Actually, it's because it's not turned around. It's because you tell me all the time not to talk. Oh. Whatever. So, <clears throat> everything we've searched since we've been here has been clear. We do have, obviously, depths of history with us. 
he will have the edited video. Was that a wave? Was that yeah, a, it was a kind of wave? You got, yeah. Um, <laughs> he will have the video on his channel of this search. So do check it out. I mean, it'll be up in a couple weeks, but just just check it out. Yes. Support him like you do us because, you know, he saw that case a couple weeks ago and he's just trying to uh, try to do good things. The boat is in like perfect condition down there. That boat is that boat. Oh. I told you, you get the shadows of it when it casts her. I wasn't looking out. I don't know <laughs> yeah. It is in a perfect condition. It's floating. It don't look the greatest. But we're just weaving through here, and there's roads that are to these houses and these homes here um, and businesses. Thank you, guys. Show you real quick. Let's see. That's pretty much where we're at. So you're going down just a bayou right now? Yeah. I don't know what it's going to get to. Oh, depth-wise? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're still at six feet. So that's right here. There's all that. That's what you see right there. The car's a 1988 gold Toyota station. Exactly. Brenda is related to the case. I forget. She said her. She with the daughter. Yes. She knows the daughter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Brenda. The one who okay. said the car is a 1988. Yes. Yeah. She's really. Uh, she had said how she's related to the case. Oh, okay. Um, earlier in the chat when you were talking. Gotcha. Sorry about that, Brenda. I wasn't ignoring you. I just didn't. I haven't had the phone on me, so. Um, Josh did go back home. Josh did a fantastic job for us. He did say if he needed us or if we needed him, he'd be back. Um, definitely check out Josh Cantu also. Um, so again, you know, he left with his friends as he dropped his friends off from there it's kind of vague on uh what it was around three three something three in the morning 345 345 in the morning and uh you know he hasn't been seen since and since we are obviously sonar specialists we do search the waters and that's what we're going to do we're going to make sure that he's not in this bay river area we're going to check some lakes and, uh, you know, we're going to try the best for the family and uh, just get some answers, you know. Everybody needs answers. <laughs> are you? Are you dancing? No, I was just a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're so <laughs> random. All right. Let's take a look at this Apex. Got a little fingerprints on it, but that's okay. I just wanted to guys give you guys a you know an update on we're still alive we're still we're still uh, kicking kicking and we're <laughs> we're staying on course. Um, we did get off kilter a little bit on our on our search. That's because one was you know was found, um, but we're still staying on course and try to help us many people as we can Why there's a tire right there i'm sorry what uh thank you um maria peekman i'm kind of uh scared to say names anymore because i screwed up the last time <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, is that a beach? Look how, that, look how they took that dock and made it a beach. It's pretty fancy.
sure it is either. Um, somebody said it's so shallow. Yes, there are parts in here that's two foot, three foot deep, but there's also parts that are six, 10, 12, 15, and 16 um, out of the main. We just, I wanted to scoot in here on this bayou. Come in here. Got that wind. I wanted to come in here on that bayou to uh, just to search. I think we're going to start turning around, right? You want to get back to that Jordan's River? Yeah. Okay. You know, it's. Hey, where's everybody watching from? Oh, you would ask that question. The, the, the chat goes so fast you can't read them. Cream buddy. Hi, Jeremy. Oh gosh, Jeremy Hans. Actually, he was super helpful on um, recovering Mike Beaver. Mike uh, Bishop. Mike Bishop. Little Beaver. Uh, <laughs> there it goes. The, the <laughs> Mississippi, Michigan, Ohio. You. <laughs> you can't watch it. Don't do that. That's not a question you want to ask. <laughs> now nobody can talk. <laughs> Well, now you got 600 people on here. Well, that's good. Um, thank you guys for coming in. If Lindsay would uh, give a update on what we're out here doing and the reason why we're out here doing it. Thanks. So again, we are in uh, Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, searching for William Burr Sr., known as Billy by his friends and family. He was last seen uh, leaving a nightclub with two friends in past Christian. He dropped them both off at their homes around 3.45 a.m. and said he was going home, which was here in Bay St. Louis. Um, from there, there's not a lot of additional information. Um, a lot of the records and stuff for not only his case, but a lot of cases across the entire South were lost in Hurricane Katrina. When Hurricane Katrina came through here, it also damaged the bridge that goes over Bay St. Louis, which they reconstructed and opened two years later. Um, so we did search that this morning. Um, we put in the boat over in Pasco Jean, and then uh, searched the both sides of the bridge just so we made sure we didn't miss anything, and then headed over here uh, to this side. We've searched up and around the casino area, and now we're heading down the Jordan River and then from the Jordan River, we'll cut off into some little bayous uh, and, you know, see if if there's any access to those on our part, um, you know, see if we can get in there and get those searched. So. There is a huge, huge, huge shout out I want to give to, is it Arthur? Is it, it's Arthur. So, yeah. Arthur from Vicious. Uh, RV repair out of South Carolina. Um, I'll have his information down below and I'll make a Facebook post on him. He fits the roof leak on the top of our RV and he also changed out one of the converters, uh, the 12 volt converter. So now when we plug in, the RV charges. So thank you, Arthur. Thank you. Uh, very much on that. He came out, met us at the Walmart parking lot, spent like three or four hours fixing everything. So, huge shout out to Bishes. So it's B I S H R V. So thank you, thank you again. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> anyway, I don't have his number. I'll give it to you guys. Missy said, I love how you say roof. Roof? Roof? Roof. Roof. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I've always said roof. It's a roof. It's not a roof. What do you call it? Roofing? <laughs> no, I call it roofing. Okay, then. I guess I never really realized that I said rough. Up on the roof. roof up on the roof. Top. It's okay. We say, <laughs> like, you know, we eat the 
pecans, but my grandma made pecan pie. No, absolutely. It's not pecan, it's pecan. Nope, you eat pecans, but my great grandma, who's from the South, made pecan pie. Somebody asked me yesterday if I wanted pickles. I didn't even know what she said. I, she, and I, I didn't, Pickles. Uh, I don't even know what it was. I had to ask her to repeat it because I didn't think I heard her right. And she said it again, and I looked at Lindsay, and she said pickles. I went, oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're at three feet right now, so we need to go further into the... Yeah, so right here on the right is Cameron Island. So we're in between this little island and then, you know, the shoreline here. All right. And then once we get around here... There are only three feet. Um, again, you're going to come... Hey, to Johnny's in here. What's up, Johnny? What's up, Johnny? And stuff that, and roads that all come. So there is a boat ramp back there, correct? It sees, it sees on it. It sees on here. It says on here. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I just see boat docks. Okay. Unless there's one coming up, but I just, see, I just see docks on my. Google Maps. Gotcha, so this is probably a little out of date, this one. Pecan pie. What? <laughs> pecan pie. People are still saying it in the chat. It's pecan pie. Nope, my pecan pie. Roof or rough as long as it gets done. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fixing get a storm or what? We're actually speeding up. We're trying to get over here to the. This place is beautiful. What you just seen right there is actually an, an awesome tool that we've used. It's called a sniper marine pole. Check it out. Definitely something that a search and recovery diver should have on their boat. If you can spin it, 360 view, great machine. All right, so now what we got on that, on the, on the back here. Up to all these homes. Okay. Um, these seven are newly feet. Homes, so at the time. Seven feet. Stuff, we come right into the river. You know, at the time, this may, these additions obviously weren't here, and these roads, you know, so, I mean, it was in 1991. It's an older case. We're going to obviously check out the lakes around this area just to see. Uh, more closer to the I-10 area and the major highways to get from St. Louis. Bay St. Louis to uh, Ask Christiane. Guys, if you haven't checked out Depths of History, don't check them out. Oh, I mean, check them out. <laughs> no, he's doing good for us. He's been solid. So. Nats still getting you? No. No gnats are getting me anymore. So what you just seen right here is a whole bunch of poles and you're seeing those those boat ramp docks. The boat docks here. Like little wooden poles. Say syrup. 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 It's syrup. It's not syrup. I don't even know why I even said syrup, syrup. the first time. It's syrup. <laughs> Y'all don't make fun of my Slang. Say syrup. Syrup. Okay. Syrup. Uh, what else do you say? That syrup. I, did I get? I don't even know. You make fun of me for everything that I say. Wa say water. 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 <laughs> it's water. Team Waters. <laughs> Team Waters. <laughs> water. So y'all making fun of me? You make fun of everything I say. All right, so we have crab traps here. That's how 
detail we are. Uh, log laying down here, some stumps here. Some We're nine little, feet. Yep, some little debris. Uh oh, what we got here? Oh, Somebody said say way wash too and orange. Wash and orange? Wash. Somebody well, said say wash. Wash. But I said wash. Wash. Washer. Somebody said orange. Deb Watson said stop picking on Lindsay. Mm. One Brit to go. There's a boat. Is that a boat? I don't see a boat, buddy. Now they all want to know no. how you say certain words. Bathroom. You say battery or battery? Battery. Battery. Pop soda or Coke? Pop. Coke. Coke. Pop. You have never said Coke. Who says get I say Coke pop? all the time. Okay, so. I don't say pop. No, but you, then you or say soda. soda. Or soda. Coke is Coke. Yeah, but whatever. down here, if you say give me a Coke, that could be like a Pepsi, a Dr. Pepper, a Coke, an orange, a whatever. These northern folk pop. But <laughs> I am a pop girl. <laughs> Sody pop. Yeah, hold on one second. We and got... my dad says zinc. Because somebody brought that up. Okay. We're 12 feet now. Um, so Jessica said that there's a, another guy missing here, so I'll look into it. Somebody said Washington. It's Washington. <laughs> it's not Washington. It's Oregon. 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 It's not Oregon. Yes, it is. It's absolutely not Oregon. Did you play the Oregon Trail? <laughs> no, I played the Oregon Trail. No, it's, you, everybody played the Oregon Trail. Oregon, Oregon Trail. No. It's not the Oregon. Oregon is in your body. Whatever. Please. Shopping cart. <laughs> what kind of coke? What kind of coke do you want? Lost on land said. Lost on land again said. <laughs> she said a Pepsi, please. Pepsi. Get yourself a root beer. Tomato or tomato? Mater. Uh, mater. Mater. Um. What's going on, Ringo and Zar? Ringo. Um, and you can tell Linda that we have Steven on our list, but it's not on this trip. We do have Steven on our list. Obviously, if we do find a vehicle in this area, we're off. He's uh, not here. He's not in this area? No. Oh. He's, he, she was just talking about Mississippi. So we do have him on our list, uh, just not on this trip currently that we're on. You are, you are close to 200K. I honestly haven't looked today. I don't even know what it's on. Today. I watch it all the time, but I haven't really looked at it. So you got right in here, you got a couple... 3,535 away. 3,500 away from... Wow, that's pretty awesome. I um, think if you get 200 by the time we end this trip in mid-March, that I should get to wax you. You're not waxing me. Absolutely. No. That's and a, I should get that's a, a corgi. Out. You're not getting a corgi, Lindsay. I'm not going to have a corgi running around the RV. I'll step <laughs> on it. <sighs> you know, some people want to say about Oh, you need to pay attention to the sonar. I can look at this, look away, and look at this again. It's still here. I'm going to look away again. It's still here. It's so slow. So, I definitely do my due diligence. Yes, I miss things. Nobody's perfect. So... Get a miniature Maltese instead. 15 now. Yeah, see that? I'm just hoping that Doc doesn't come out very far. Ringo, for the tiebreaker, the Northerner, is it soda or pop? He better say pop, because I know where he lives. <laughs> Tell Jessica 
that I will look into it. Oh, pop, 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 Jessica, she will look into it. Um, I don't know what I'm saying I'm looking into. She keeps saying that there's another missing person here named Brennan. So I'll look Oh, she'll, into she'll look into uh, Brennan's um, case. Sorry. See, now everybody said pop. Fountain drink. <laughs> Nope, Grace is not with me. Yes, Diane, thank you. Soda pop, soda pop, soda pop. Y'all crazy. Crazy. Fizzy drinks. It's a pretty cool home. Why is it blurry? Darren White. Coke. <laughs> See, even Darren says Coke. No, Darren, he meant to say pop. Big gulp. There you go. All right, so what you see right here is all that rock formation right there. That boat's getting it. Is that rock? Yeah. That's a big rock. Big, those are big um, boulders. So you see, you see, you don't see any kind of formation around it. Yeah. Um, yeah, those are big, big rocks. 19 feet now. Jacob's gonna get a pop in the arm. Anybody gonna get a pop in the arm? All right, so again, like I said, I wanted to bring this information out to you. We're still alive. Everything's still good. We're still alive. <laughs> um, what? And you know, we're we're still we're still out searching. Everything is uh, going well. HR's in here. Josh Hammond. We need to have a meeting with him. Oh yeah. Yeah. ASAP. ASAP. Like right after this line. Uh, okay. No, Tyler Doyle has not been found yet. Um, we were out there for the day searching. Um, waves were too strong. The waves were going to be strong for that weekend. We had promised these other families that we were going to be out there. So we don't. We don't break promises. Um, we did have a break in our cases, so we wanted to travel up there and try to help. Unfortunately, we were not able to do that. But yeah, Britain's Britain's been a huge help. Going too fast. I mean, that is a perfect reading. Also. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty solid reading and pretty clear. Oh, thank you, Rhonda, for updating. <clears throat> Upcoming searches. Upcoming searches. Lindsay can explain uh, on that if uh, Britain wants to turn that around or flip, flip the screen so they can actually hear. All right, so you can, uh, yeah, just do it like here. Do it like that. All right, go ahead, Lindsay. So um, when we are done over the next couple of days in past Christian, then we head to Morgan City, Louisiana. From there, we head to Baton Rouge for five different cases. Um, after Baton Rouge, we head to Shreveport. Then we'll be home for two days or so. Um, <coughs> And then we head to um, St. Louis. We're going to go search uh, with Eric for Kenny Louder milk for the day. Um, you know, just touch base with Kevin, um, you know, continue where we left off. And then after that, we head up to Iowa to continue our search for Harry Milligan. Um, you know, Mark's really been kind of nailing down certain details and, and getting more information and uh, more people have stepped in to help him investigate. So, um, 
we're going to continue, you know, searching for Harry. Britain, that'll be Britain's first time with us up there. Um, we've yep. been there three or four times. After that, um, we'll be heading to Nebraska, possibly. From there, we head over to Indiana. We have two cases in Indiana, um, one in Maryville and one in Indianapolis. Um, the last kind of little leg of our trip is all dependent on, you know, time and, and you know, how much, um, how much we have. And, you know, as long as it doesn't take anything away, um, you look, know. Look at those cows. With it being so far, with Indiana being so far away, um, you know, or if something comes up to where, you know, we need to go to, from one case to the other, that kind of last little leg of our trip is is a little bit moldable at this point so it's also depending on um you know the big the big portion of this is is you guys um helping out we're able to take what we make off of youtube and facebook to fund this um, you guys are a huge help in this. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do it. Check out chaosdivers.com for all of your stuff um, that supports us. We also have the Venmo cash app and all of that. That puts fuel in and helps us do this. And I can't thank you guys enough. What you guys have done for these families is flat out amazing. So thank you. We're going to get off of here. We're going to continue to search. Um, it's a beautiful thing you guys do for us and I am very honored to be able to be that messenger for you guys for the families and to try to bring home their lost loved ones because without you guys would be nothing so thank you so much for your support keep diving it's not where to stop love each and every one of you love you bye see ya I'll see you guys.